so this is the part two of the video and this is how the flare shirt and the bell sleeve top came out the two piece she is looking so nice so if you want to keep watching and you want to learn more keep watching to the end of this video please like and subscribe to my channel please guys please like this video share and also subscribe to my channel subscription is free and when you subscribe you get a notification anytime i upload so let's get down to this tutorial so this is the elastic i'll be working with i'll be using my exact waist measurement which is 30 inches so now i'll take this to the sewing machine and sew the crotch line straight down then i'll do it to the back side so i'll sew it straight down the back and the front i'll sew it using one and a half or sorry using a um, quarter of an inch sewing allowance so here i'm just i'm done sewing you can see how it came out so i'm going to open it up so this is how it's going to look when you open it up so you can see so the flare has already taken place so this crotch part i'll also be running a stitch straight down to secure that part i'll use half an inch sewing allowance for this so i'll take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch so the next part now is to take the round measurement of my waist the round measurement of this um short the waist part is 42 so the band i'll be cutting is 30 inches which is my, which is my exact um waist measurement then the width of this band the length the width sorry is 1.7 so that means i have to make the band a bit um accommodating so it can fit very well to the band so i'm going to be using 3.5 then half an inch for my allowance for the sewing so the width of the band should be able to accommodate the elastic so that's what i'm just doing taking the measurements then i'll take my round measurements to be very sure before i cut so i don't make mistake it's very important so this is the just trying to see how elastic it looks like then I'm going to take my measurements and cut it out so I'll be using the exact waist measurement which is 30 inches so this is it I've already marked it out then I'm going to cut this out so after cutting my waistband this is how it's going to look so I'll attach it to the waist then I'll be leaving at least one inch um out i want someone in so i'll be able to pass my inside so that's what i'm going to do so here i'm done sewing so i left that one inch that i'll be using to pass in you can see it yes this is it so i'll use a safety pin to pass this with inside my um inside it so that's what i'm doing here so i'm done so i'm going to take it to the same machine now to sew that same um, allowance one inches allowance or half an inch then i'll cover it up after sewing so i'll take the same machine sew half an inch then i'm done sewing this is how it looks you can see the way the elastic form to sit very well on the waist because i use my exact waist measurement so the next step is to cut our basic bodies so i'm going to leave a link on how to cut your basic bodies it will be in the description of this video so you can go back and watch this video and learn so here i'm just like rushing this video so because there is a, a video for this already so you can go back and watch that video so the next step is for the sleeve because we are going to be doing this splash and spread method so it's for you to cut your basic um sleeve i've already done that so i'm going to also leave a link below this video so you can watch we don't know how to cut your basic sleeve so let's get to the tutorial so from this side you go down by two inches it's scary then you take two inches also from this there, side. Ignoring the voices telling you you can't. You mark you this. Step aside, or will you go for it? After all, what's the worst that can happen? Then from these so two inches, you take it straight it. down. Don't stop. Believe in yourself and go for it. Our data is available in many variants. So, after doing this, you take another two inches from here. Mark 
is straight. Then from this point, you take your two inches inwards. So the next step now is to place your pattern and spread it on the fabric. You can spread it as wide as you want as you can see from the video. Then you cut this out. So after cutting this I is going to look all having the bell shape. So the next thing now is for me to cut my um, pattern of the top on the fabric. So you place it on the fabric, then you trace it out, then you cut. Oh, don't forget to leave allowance, one inch two in allowance. So after cutting, this is how my um how it will look on the fabric. So I've already piped the neck parts, as you can see from the video. I use a bias tape to secure that rough edges so i'm going to lay the front part of the back facing the front um so i'm doing this so i can secure the shoulder part you have to make it equal then use a pin to secure it so after sewing that um shoulder part then you use you will not attach sorry you will not attach your sleeve to the arm o area you sew it round sew the sleeve round the arm o area then you do the same also to the right hand side of the sleeve after attaching your back and front shoulder part together then you attach your sleeve to the arm o so this is how it looks after i was done so I'm going to take it to the um, ironing table and give it a very nice press. So after ironing it, then I'll put it on my mannequin and we'll see how it will come out. So you can see, then this is the um, the short flare. You can see I've, I'm already done with it. So I'm done and this is how it looks on picture. You can see how nice it came out looking beautiful so this is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel please if you are a newbie please subscribe that's your way of encouraging me please subscribe to my channel and please and please like this video and share thank you bye
added the waistband to it. This is how it's looking. Then I left an opening where I was passing my elastic. So this elastic is the exact size of my waist. So I'll pass it through. Sew it straight down and create like an arc here. So after doing that, then I'll close back this part that I opened. So let me take it to the same machine to sew this down. See, I see the flare already on it. So I see how it turns out. 